Augie Anime Bargain Hunts. The places that I visit do not pay me to film. These are my opinions and my opinions alone. Please enjoy the feature presentation. In this video, we're going to take a virtual tour of Total Nostalgia. Sadly, I was not able to get or recover one-eighth of the footage at the beginning, but everything else is intact. For this virtual tour, I will include for the Augie Anime Bargain Hunt Episode 5 segments because better showcases a certain area. So with that, enjoy the feature presentation. It's new, it's hip, and I'm on a trip. It's Total Nostalgia. Hey guys, I'm over here at Total Nostalgia, kind of near where my high school is, of uh, West Morgan. Ooh. And I want to see what great deals I can find inside, so check it out. Hey, I'm here at Total Nostalgia, and this is the virtual tour. I'm here with the one of the owners to kind of get an insight like how where this place started and other influences. So, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Of course. Um, so, my name is uh, what well, Renee Dobbins now. Uh, the store is owned by my husband and myself. We started June of 2019. After about six or eight months of selling out of our house, uh, and it kind of just got very overwhelming and started taking over our house so that's when we decided we needed to do a store uh, so here we are awesome. <laughs> now two years later <laughs> it's pretty convenient because even though i don't live around here this is near my high school alma mater so nice. it's kind of cool yeah mine too i actually graduated from east lawrence okay yeah What is the inspiration for the name of the place? Oh, well, it actually didn't take me very long to come up with a name because I was just thinking about all the stuff we were going to carry. And I was like, well, it's basically all nostalgic stuff. So we're just going to carry basically all the things of nostalgia. So it's total nostalgia. Okay. <laughs> So was this, when you first started, did you focus like on anime or just what you grew up and loved in general? Basically whatever we could get our hands on. Yeah, fair enough, fair <laughs> enough. Which is, was then and still seems to be the case of 90s figures. Awesome. So it's super easy for some reason, 90s toys were such, so mass produced that everyone had them and still has them, that that was basically what we started with was just 90s toys. Star Wars, Star Trek, cool. uh, Toy Stories, Lion Kings, basically anything from the 90s you could think of is what we started with. Okay. Yeah. What do you personally collect? I myself collect um, things to do with Venom, uh, The Crow, um, like horror stuff, Freddy Krueger, stuff like that. Awesome. Uh, Mars Attacks, kind of like that genre of okay, stuff. Okay, and then Supernatural. 
Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I myself collect anime, so. Yeah, and then my husband does Green Ranger. <laughs> so, cool. <laughs> Green Ranger, Green Ranger. How many times has he been to a Morphicon or something similar to meet the Well, person? we actually, um, so he came last September, he actually came to our store to do signings. Oh, cool. Um, and then we, um, I helped him at the Huntsville Con uh, this past February also. So, help them run their booth. Okay. Yeah. What's the inspiration for your sweet logo on top of the building now? Well, we started off with the um, first one, but there was a lot of copyright infringements on it. So we had to change it over. Um, so I was changing it because our other one had lots of like Marvel and DC and Disney related things. Gotcha. So since we are trademarking our name and are now um, a corporation, I wanted to go ahead and swap that over before anything crazy happens. So I was like, well, people know it's me and Philip that run it, so let's just put us on the logo. Okay. With all of our favorite things. Do you have any thoughts of franchising this? Eventually, that's the long-term goal. Um, we actually do have someone that we've talked to that would like to do a store, but that's right now a couple of years down the road. But we do eventually plan on doing some kind of franchise with the Total Nostalgia brand, which awesome. is why we're trying to get our own logos and do our own branding and stuff like that. So. Are, are y'all responsible for the toy swap? Yes. You... Yep, yep, we um, put that on. So we do that twice a year. Um, we've actually got that coming up September 25th, which is a little over a month away. Um, so we do that annually now, um, doing it, or biannually, biannually, twice a year. So okay. awesome, awesome. <laughs> yeah, so we do that twice a year now. And for this one, we've actually incorporated in um, collecting for toys for tots. Um, and then the next swap we do, we're going to try to do a um, kind of charity thing with each one. So we're going to like swap charities and do stuff with charities, either raise money or raise goods and stuff for a different charity each swap. Okay. Yeah. Any wise advice for the viewers at home? Not, not really. Uh, if you have, if you buy things and you want to resell them later on, keep them in the packages. Don't open them for good resale value. Uh, RFB. If you do have things you want to sell, contact us because we do buy all the things. Okay. <laughs> so, other than that, just come shop and have a good time with us. All right. Yeah. Awesome. I enjoyed your store. Found some awesome stuff nice. and plan to come by every so often. Sweet. Well, we appreciate it very much. Well, thank you. Yeah. Hey guys, it's Godzilla. Wow.
Wow, a lot of manga here. A lot of books. Goops bumps as well. Pretty nifty swifty, I say. Checking it out. Hey, it's the anime encyclopedia. First edition, it seems. All right, have that. Yukup John and the limited edition awesomeness. I wish there was more volumes. All right, so this is their main DVD area. And I was able to spot, shimmy, shimmy, shimmy down one. Where is it? Uh, right, 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 right there. And it's Ghost in the Shell, standalone complex. Put it back, maybe get a new home. I don't know. Play to the Immortal. Okay, I finally found the actual anime shelf in all its glory. Looking at each cubby hole. Gander, gander, gander. Stretch a little bit to go all the way down. Pokemon, Power Rangers, VHS, VHS. Pokemon VHS, stretch a bit. Yeah, all that cubby right there. Coming up, seeing some Cowboy Bebop and some pretty nice bundles here. Let me impress. Going up, going up. Seeing some bootlegs and some imports. Going down, going down. Touch on these in a bit. And empty spot and random hexa box. All right. It's not often you get to see season one Shauna in a box like this. Right beside it is the magic box or brick box of Magic Users Club. Oh, wow. Comic party. But right beside it is Princess Resurrection. Dubbed. And Comic Party Resurrection right beside it. The World of Nehru. To me, this is like a primitive Haruhi. Or Haruhi. I may or may not pick that up. The third. Interlude. Kind of uncommon. Surprise it's here. $15, not a bad price. Ugh. Kaikaze, that's pretty steep, but oh my goddess, that is a decent deal. Pretty great. That's a lot. Happy lesson. Not that bad. 20 bucks for season one of Omel Alchemist, not bad. $10 for Defenders of Space, I don't know. Huh. Strange bundle there, not complete. Hey, it's the hard shell of real about high school. Oh, I may or may not get that. All of Love Hina, the movies and the TV series. Right there, full and complete. Luca, it's missing volume three, but not a bad price for each of these. Being local, I remember these bootlegs in the mall for Dragon Ball Z and GT. And, oh, well, oh, yeah, future go cow. Wow, it, it, I'm amazed that this ca carried over here. Most of the Tenchi stuff. Not bad pricing. You get all of Universe, some of the movies, and GPX. Aruhi Suzumiya, not a bad price. Ugh, I can't believe that. Kakashi Mashi. This is following me around. So the, I'm confirming the vocal has the dub. And the singles we see here are sub only. And it tends to be true. All right. Back checked myself. Oh, what's in the board games? Gotta look at the board games. Gotta look at the board games. Looking at all the board games, there's something interesting, something unique, something out of the way, something in the way, something from here or outer space. We have something that's in my hobby that we're trying to look at. It what? What is that? Ultraman. Is this puzzle? Is this a puzzle? No, uh, uh, no, this is a board game. Okay. Awesome. 
Hey guys, thank you for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, ring the bell, comment below, watch my playlists, share with your friends, follow my social medias, ring that bell, and I'll have more to come later. Thank you for watching.